We're Trent and Alley, and the race to finish the roof is still raging. And today just happens to be Allie's birthday. Trent told everyone that we don't have time to celebrate. We need to keep working on the house, but really. So Allie actually has no idea, but I've been planning this scavenger hunt for months. We're excited to partner with Simply Safe on today's video, a reliable, effective home monitoring system. We'll share more about them later, but first, we need to juggle some bad news. We have about 72 hours left of clear weather before permanent winter. With a birthday surprise I never expected. Is that real? <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday! really early morning. We're just getting ready for work. And today just happens to be Allie's birthday. I thought we weren't filming today. <laughs> How are you feeling? I feel depressed. You feel depressed? <laughs> I'm turning 30. Oh. Nobody could tell because of Allie's beautiful smile and her youthful skin. But today <laughs> is Allie's 30th birthday. <laughs> and she's dreading it. But instead of making her regular coffee, I decided to make her a latte today. Really, you and a latte are all I could ever ask for. Mm. Happy birthday. Thank you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> what is this? Just a little something, something. You gotta read it out loud. Oh, really? Good morning, my love. You always want to celebrate your birthday week, and since we're so busy with the house, I thought we would pack a week worth of fun and adventures into one day. You're the most special person to me in the world, and I wanted your 30th birthday to be the best birthday ever. So today you're going on a scavenger hunt? <laughs> There's some movie trivia mixed in, lots of surprises, and I can't wait to get started. Your first clue lies where we thought we found a moose. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? No, it's not a moose. A mouse? <laughs> <laughs> where we thought we found a mouse. <laughs> Over there? No. In, in Terry? No. Where did we think we found a mouse? Oh, in the house! In the basement! <laughs> <laughs> Drink your coffee and okay. you'll still find it. <laughs> Sometimes I can understand how it can be so hard to stay out of pain. But with you, everything has changed. Even though we both stay the same. Alright, you've had your coffee, you had a bagel. <laughs> yes. Are you ready to start the scavenger hunt? Okay, I'm excited. I'm ready. What do you think's out there? A moose. <laughs> <laughs> on another note, we've got a problem with the breaker on our temporary pedestal for our power, and it keeps tripping. And it trips in the middle of the night. And then the alarm goes off on the inverter saying that the power has been tripped. So at like five in the morning, that alarm starts going off. So I'm like zombie out of bed. I throw on a hoodie put on my boots and I go trudging down to the electrical panel and I flip the breaker and then I wait for a second because I can still hear the beeps in Terry while I'm all the way down there. That's how loud it is. And all of a sudden I hear <laughs> in like all the like dry brush and bushes just across the street. I see a tree kind of moving and then I hear <laughs> don't, don't pay any attention to my sound effects, but <laughs> It's like absolutely not a hoofed animal. It's moving in like giant strides and it sounds like big puffs, like boof, like hitting the ground. And I like wait for a minute cause I was just like, holy crap. What the, what in the <laughs> world was that? It runs away and then it stops for a second and then it turns and crosses the road and runs up the hill in that same like long stride galloping through the bush noises. And the only thing around here that I can think that that was is it sounds like it was a mountain lion. 
So I'm terrified now. We've had people that have game cameras set up on their properties. People that are like four and five houses away from us have seen like mountain lions. Like bit like as probably as big and almost as heavy as me, mountain lions, in their front yard, walking around early, early in the morning. So needless to say, they're out here. That's enough about the wildlife. Put on your shoes, let's get this scavenger hunt started. Okay. So for those of you that don't know, Trent is a right to the point kind of guy. And a terrible gift giver. <laughs> <laughs> Last year he got himself a yoga mat whoa, whoa, whoa. for my birthday so that he could do yoga with me, which is very sweet. But no, also for like... your birthday I got you. I gotta clear my name here because Allie always makes me look like the bad guy in this story. So for Allie's birthday last year, we were in the van, we were in Ecuador, and I had a friend bring me some yoga pants for Allie for her birthday. And then also for her birthday, I promised to do yoga with her every day for 30 days. And we only had one yoga mat. So I had my friend buy and bring a second yoga mat. So. The yo second yoga mat was for me to do yoga for 30 days with Allie for her birthday. It's just funny so that, there's like, this joke. The brand new yoga mat went to you instead of to me. <sighs> you know what I mean? It's funny. It's funny. <laughs> it's not funny. He was in here. Oh. <laughs> I do love this one. Good job on finding your first prize. There are many more like it, but none are as tasty as your favorite snack, Nutella. <laughs> this is gonna be cheesy, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> your next prize lies with our version of a movie starring Dane Cook and Jessica Simpson. When were they in a movie together? Yeah, this is a tough one. Trent has terrible taste in movies, so oh I, haven't seen, I haven't seen half the movies he likes. Some of you guys probably know the movie. It wasn't a very good movie, but it's a movie nonetheless, so she needs to figure this out. I was like 10 at this era. You were like mm. 30 already. Oh, wow. <laughs> Employee of the month? Mm-hmm. 20% on Rotten Tomatoes. We're not talking about how good the movie is, Allie. <laughs> I don't understand. Your next prize. Brandon? Yeah! <laughs> so Brandon has to come in order for me to get the next clue? No, you have to go to Brandon. Oh. Well, he's not here yet. I know, he's at home. He's at his home. He's at his home. We're going to his house. Yeah. <laughs> what? <sighs> it's going to be a long day. <laughs> So before we leave today, I wanted to let you guys know today's video is sponsored by Simply Safe. Simply Safe is an effective, reliable home security system. It actually gives us a great peace of mind knowing that when we leave, we can arm the system. It's going to keep our house safe. We have sensors on the doors, sensors on the windows. We even have little HD cameras that we can access remotely so that we can see what's going on in the house. One of my favorite features is we have a carbon monoxide detector. That makes it so that we're not gonna asphyxiate ourselves if we run the furnace all night because that's actually something that you need to worry about when you're living in an RV. Another really cool feature about Simply Safe is it comes with this little key fob where you can actually disarm the system or arm the system and it has two different settings. You can set it while you're home so that you know if any doors or windows are open or you can set it when you're away so you know if anything happens while you're not there, the system's gonna go off. And the best part about Simply Safe is it's not just a noisemaker. It's actually monitored 24 seven, and if the alarm gets tripped, they're gonna call the police, and the police are gonna show up, and they're gonna catch the bad guys. So needless to say, we absolutely love Simply Safe. If you guys are in the market for a home security system, I highly recommend Simply Safe. And now, Simply Safe is offering 30% off plus a free camera. If you wanna check them out, click the link in our description, or go to simplysafe.com slash Trent and Alley. Thanks again to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get Allie out on this scavenger hunt. Please exit now. Guilty? Yeah, this is like a really warm, sunny week. 
that we really need to be taking advantage of roofing. It's very true. Everyone except for me thought we were going to be working on the house today, including Allie and Brandon and everyone. And I had to call it all off last night because it's my baby's birthday. <laughs> And it's her 30th birthday. <laughs> it needs to be <laughs> it needs to be an important birthday. But yeah, we really should be working on the house because it's clear, it's sunny, it's nice. We don't have a roof yet. But tomorrow we'll resume working on the house. Leaving this place, the sun's about to break. Y'all riding shotgun. What do you think's gonna be here? Brandon. <laughs> Left? I have no idea. I don't know what we're doing. We're going to see Brandon. <laughs> That's all I know. Happy birthday. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. Not working? I know. Me neither. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know why we're here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're on a scavenger hunt. I am on a scavenger hunt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you this is not what I was expecting you to give me, but I really appreciate these it. These are from us. Oh, cute! Oh, I like these. How's your day off? Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know about this? Sort of. I didn't know all the details. Sneaky. You knew yesterday that you weren't coming today? No. Oh. I was planning on coming. To oh, work. wow. He called me last night. And said, I told you. We're not working today. Okay, Brandon, the clue for, for you was um, the next clue lies within the movie with Dane Cook and Jessica Simpson. What was the answer? Employee of the month. <laughs> yes. I didn't know it! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't guess it. She had to look it up on my phone. It's a great movie. <laughs> I see, I told you. Okay, you're doing so well on this scavenger hunt, just like I knew you would. I hope you are as excited as I am to build this gingerbread house with your gingerbread man. <laughs> <laughs> your next clue will be on the bed where I slept when we first met. We're going to your grandparents' house. Yeah. Nice, okay. Can we eat this while we're going over there? No, we gotta build it. <laughs> All right. Yes, when Trent and I met, he was sleeping at his grandparents' house. I saved him. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me sound like a loser, but there was just a series of unfortunate events that took place in my life that led to me living in my grandparents' house for a short period of time. And during that short period of time, I met the love of my life. up to my grandparents' house. What do you think is here? Your grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> the best gift of all. I'm very confused. I didn't know this was happening. I feel guilty that this is happening. But I'm excited to see your grandparents. Me too. <laughs> Hello? Happy, happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you! Do you feel old and wonderful? I feel wonderful, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can feel old. You can feel wonderful. I think I have to find something downstairs? Yep. Okay. Into the dungeons. <laughs> oh my goodness. So our property gets eight feet of snow and sub-zero temperatures m nine months out of the year. We're really lucky that it's been this warm for this long, but it's not gonna last. And I don't have a warm winter jacket until now. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a snowman. Wow. <laughs> this jacket is actually a gift from your parents. They wanted to help you stay warm and healthy through the winter in the mountains. We all hope you like the color. I do, I love the color, thank you. <laughs> Your next surprise lies with the man whose life is a movie. More movies! <laughs> <laughs> Starring Paul Walker and Vin Diesel. Fast and the Furious. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> lies with the man whose life is a movie? Tyrell! Yeah! <laughs> Wait, what is this? 
<laughs> this life is the Fast and the Furious. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I feel so guilty, but I'm enjoying this so much. <laughs> well. I know you've probably heard from your mommy already. Yeah, she's, yeah. she's wishing you were home. I know. But we're glad you're not. <laughs> <laughs> so what? I'm glad to be here too. <laughs> yeah. It's nice that you took him off our hands. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we were just next, talking about that. We love you. We're glad you're thank in you. our family. Oh, that's me too. The, you can only, stay. Oh, thank you. That's the only pay we expect. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and I told your mother, if things don't work out, you can stay, he can go. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. Goodbye, darling. Bye bye. <laughs> All right, you ready? Let's go. All right. How are you feeling? Very nervous. <laughs> this isn't the end. Okay. <laughs> Tyrell's a car guy. So is he gonna give us like new mud flaps or something? I don't It might be a Ferrari. A Ferrari? <laughs> <laughs> a Ferrari made out of gingerbread houses. <laughs> What's up guys? Today is a very special day. Allie has no idea that I'm here. I'm actually at the Toyota dealership. It has been Allie's dream to have a forerunner. And we've been talking about how we actually need to get a second car because of where we live and getting stuck in the snow and just emergencies, anything could happen. We need to have two vehicles. Allie's been begging to get a forerunner and I've been telling her no, 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 no. Well today, I'm picking up a forerunner I'm hiding it at my friend's shop. I'm so excited. And she has no idea. Look out, here she comes. The woman that I love. It's too bad she'll never know. Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel. Because she has someone who makes her happy. I'm a Trent just text me says they're just pulling up. I'm excited for her. What a present. What a cool family. I love them. The back well, shop. The through the door. Hey guys, how's it going? Good, how are you doing? Hello. What are you guys doing? Hi. How are you? Is that real? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Happy birthday! You've got a really cool husband, you know that? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is a joke. This no, is a joke. <laughs> it's not a joke. Hi, Tyrell. Can you see your new car? There they are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure, I didn't know. Good job. Oh my god. <laughs> this is fake. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe you did this. <laughs> Hmm. Thanks, dude. Take your first spin? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to get in it. <laughs> what do you think? I... We've been talking about this for a very, very long time. We only have one vehicle, and when one of us leaves and the other person is at the property, it, it has caused some problems if one of us gets stranded or needs help and we need to... Uh, connect with each other, especially with how remote we're living and how much snow and inclement weather we get. We've been talking about a second vehicle for a very long time, and I've been asking for this vehicle <laughs> for a very long time, and I thought it would never happen. <laughs> this has literally been Allie's dream vehicle the entire time that I've known her. And even if it means that I am going to be in debt to the system <laughs> for the rest of my life, I had to get her the one thing that she really wanted for this birthday. You're amazing. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know how we can afford this. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> 
never driven a car this new. <laughs> oh my god, it's so nice. <laughs> Whoa! For the record, we are just idling through the parking lot right now. <laughs> oh my god! <gasps> I was just really not expecting this. <laughs> All right, now that we've taken Allie's car for a little test drive, we had to take a second to look at some of the other Lamborghini twin turbo and Audi R8 twin turbo projects that they're working on. You have another clue. It's not over. It's not over. This is too much. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the most thought you've ever put into someone else's birthday? The most thought I've ever put into anything in my life. <laughs> <laughs> we have one final destination where there's one prize left waiting for you. How many prizes are there? Take us to the place where we very first met. I know where that is. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think is going to be here? Right, right here. I would really like to say food. Because I'm <laughs> really hungry. <laughs> Alright. Now where is the place that we very first met? Over there? Take us there. So we met on the very classy dating app called Bumble about four years ago, and Trent showed up with Tony Vanza, our very first van that he had bought the day before, and I showed up in my little Forester, and we both parked around the same time. You were walking into the restaurant, and I came out right here. Yeah, it was like right here. Yeah. Yeah, to introduce myself. And I just remember thinking that Allie must have spent all day curling her hair. I was like, wow, this girl went all out. Little did I know, she didn't curl her hair at all. <laughs> it's just always that curly. Anyway, there's a clue around here and you have to find it. You hit a clue? When were you here? Don't ask questions. What? <laughs> on the ground? It's around. It's around, is it on one of us? It's not on one of us, it's here. You put it here? When were you here? Doesn't matter. Wow, Trent! Is it in? Am I hot or cold? Ah, uh, warm. Warmer? Yeah. <laughs> Is it this? Oh my gosh. When were you here? Yesterday. Read it. This is where it all started. A date over sushi, sparks flew, a new love was created, and over the last four years, we've grown together. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I love you so much. I wanted this to be your birthday you'll always remember, and to top it off, we have reservations to get sushi. <laughs> At the place where it all started. I love you. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, my <goodness>. <sighs> <sighs> okay, officially the best birthday of my entire life. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> this table right here behind me, <laughs> our first date, that table.
That was the best sushi dinner I've had in a very long time. Actually, the best day I've had in a very long time. We need to get back in the car, go pick up the truck, head back to Frank, and process this whole day. <laughs> supposed to snow a little bit on like Saturday and Sunday and then there's a 50% chance on Wednesday and Friday. Very exciting to have celebrated my birthday in such style with Trent. Um, although we are waking up this morning and realizing that yesterday was a very important day to have been working on the house, which we knew, but after looking at the weather this morning it just solidifies that we have about 72 hours left of clear weather before permanent winter. I think we can get the blocking and the rafter tails cut today and start the fascia, maybe not finish the fascia. We should be able to get the roof sheathed in a day, I think. So while yesterday was an incredible day, and I'm so grateful Trent took the time off to spend it with me and honestly put so much thought and organization into the entire scavenger hunt, today we're getting right back to work. We have a lot to do, very little time, and my job today is to finish winterizing Terry. We have had a lot of people comment about what we need to be doing to make sure Terry is winterproof. We've implemented some of those and we just haven't had time to fully dedicate like a, a day to winterizing Terry. We have a heated hose connected to Terry and the yard hydrant. We have heat tape all over the connection. I'm gonna finish skirting Terry right now to create an insulated barrier around her and then we're actually building a portable garage over her to protect from caving in and to add insulation and just to create a dry space inside where we can store a couple things without them getting snowed on every single day. <laughs> Frank and I are gonna to get to work. Let's do this. Tall as a tree Strong as the wolf pup, faster than me. So if you were it that a chance will pass you by, and if you're standing on the sidelines wondering why. Okay, so basically the last warm day, well maybe tomorrow is the last warm day of this entire season. It's getting and you cold got, right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. You got almost all of the roof done. We've got all the rafters done. I've got all the fascia done except for the back and one of the side pieces of the main roof. Obviously the sunroof is going to be done at a later date. But with snow on the forecast, we really need to get this roof done. So tomorrow we'll get those couple pieces of fascia put on. Then we can do the sheathing and then we just have to tape the seams on the sheathing and it can like, it can really snow. And, and it will. And in the house <laughs> will be okay because we're gonna put plastic over the windows so that snow doesn't go inside the house. And then I need to do the roof on the sunroom. We gotta get the shelter okay, logic okay. built. We've got a lot of things going on guys. <laughs> but more importantly, thank you so much for everything you did yesterday. You're welcome. I'm, you deserve it. I am just like so <laughs> amazed that we are as far as we are, that the house is so far along. And I'm so excited that we have another car. It'll just be a lot safer and a lot more peace of mind. And as really in debt. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but just for how remote we are and how much how much snow we get, yeah. it'll be really nice to not have to rely on just one vehicle. Right in time for the snow that's coming this weekend. Woo! <sighs> the next time good. we see you guys, we're getting this roof finished. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure. That you guys enjoyed seeing Allie get her surprises for her birthday. Thank Make you. sure you guys wish her a happy birthday oh, in the thank comments you. as well. <laughs> If you guys like this video, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. We'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.